So, hopefully all sound problems will be gone. It appears that I struggle with sound. I thought I would film outside to show the beauty that is the green Canada that nobody knows about. We don't eat blubber. We don't all live in igloos. It's all a myth. Here is proof of that. So I'm back, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite movies. Definitely in my top five for sure. Potentially my number one movie, but Fight Club might give a competition. Run, Lola, Run amazing movie. If you have not seen it, see it. It has subtitles, I'll warn you right now. And if you're like, oh, I don't want to read when I'm watching a movie, I just want to watch a movie, you're not watching the right channel. This is not the channel for that. Some of my favorite movies are subtitled for sure. And there's just so many gorgeous movies, like especially Asian movies like Hero and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Those movies are fabulous and they're subtitled. And you totally need to see them. Just like you need to see this movie, Run Lola Run, which has a German name as well that I'm not going to try to pronounce because it's just going to make me look silly, and I look silly enough already. So it's written and directed by the same man. I want to say Tom Tykewer. Probably pronouncing that wrong. If you know the proper pronunciation, please comment below. Uh, he is fantastic. The fact that he wrote all this blows my mind. So essentially, the movie is a multi-lives concept. So kind of like, I don't know if you guys know that movie Sliding Doors or Gwyneth Paltrow misses the train in one side and on the other side she catches the train. So in one she catches her boyfriend sleeping around on her and the other one she doesn't know. And it's how different her life would be if these things happened. So this movie does that but it does it three different ways and instead of having the stories go side by side with each other, it's one how it would happen, two, how it happened, three, how it happened, and then in between each of them, there's a little sequence of the main character and her boyfriend sitting in bed talking about each other. Franca Potent, I think I'm saying her name wrong, it's German, so that sounds French, so it's totally wrong, but she plays Lola. Uh, you may know her from such movies as uh, Born Ultimatum, Born Supremacy, Born Identity, she's in all of them. She's the original girl that Born is with. Uh, who cuts her hair and goes with him and then goes to live with him in that lovely paradise, blah blah blah, and then dies, tear. She's great. Uh, she's obviously been in a lot of other movies. Mainly they are German, so you probably don't know them unless you're German. If you are, hi Germany! She's also in Blow, that one with Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz. And then she stars with her boyfriend, who's Manny. And I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce his name. He's excellent as well. The story essentially follows Lola, the main character, who is this, like, vivid red hair. She's freaking awesome. And she's like, I don't know, she kind of reminds me of Tomb Raider, even though she's not. She kind of has that vibe about her. And it basically follows her. She's trying to get 100,000 Dutch marks in 20 minutes to save her boyfriend's life from his diamond-dealing boss. What happened was, she was supposed to pick him up but her bike got stolen, and so she wasn't able to pick him up at the particular meeting spot, so he had to take a cab, and then he got on the subway, and then cops got on the subway, and he got freaked out, so he hopped off the subway, and just as the car is going away, he remembers, oh right, the money in the bag, it's on the friggin' subway, F. And you see this bump looking at it like, oh. And that's kind of how the story is set up, and then it comes to this one moment where she gets this phone call, he tells her that he's gonna die, and that if she doesn't get there within 20 minutes, he's gonna rob this supermarket. And she's like, just wait, just wait, I'll figure it out. And then each time the sequence begins, there's a sequence of her throwing up the phone and it going and then landing on the dial as she's like running out the door past her mother who wants shampoo and whatever. So it starts off the same each time, except for there it goes from live action to this animation of her running down the stairs. The first time she sprints faster because she's this dog and this punk are the, on the stairs and it freaks her out so she sprints a little quicker. Another time she trips over them and they're like ha 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 and she injures her leg so she's limping so obviously she's slower. Last time she jumps which section of stairs so again it's a different timing and the entire movie the editing must have been a to do it must have been crazy because for instance you'll see a train passing and each one of them it's a different spot and one of them it's way in the distance you see that it passed already another time it's passing right over her another time it's coming towards uh, there's tons of running sequences and it's always you know she passes people on the street and each time they're at a different section and it all matches up perfectly like they did such a good job doing all that and having it so that the timelines correct so with each of the three there's a different outcome and there's a different adventure that takes place each time she goes to someone else or goes a different way to try and get the money and also along the way she bumps into certain people there's this like old woman for instance that she bumps into some one time one time she misses her uh, one time she's very far away but either either way the lady looks at her every time and like says something rude and it'll slow down you'll hear like the ca a camera going Ch -ch -ch 
as if it's like getting ready to take a picture, it's taking a picture, and then it shows these stills of what this person's life would have been like. So each time it's different depending on how close Lola came to them. This movie was actually nominated for 41 awards. Uh, it only got 26, but still, the fact that it was nominated for that many is unbelievable to me. It's very, very unknown to most people, so if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. You can definitely rent it. Uh, I'm sure you can download it, but of course I think that you should rent it or buy it. Um, if a friend has a copy, get on that. It is such a good movie. It's entertaining, there's funny parts, it's exciting, it's very well done. There's parts that are almost caricature-like, like one time she screams and like glass breaks. So it's very, it's unique and just kind of, I don't know, it's a great movie. Please check it out and if you've seen it or after you see it, comment below and let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear. So that's all for today.